The people who lived in this flat got out alive. In the charred and twisted debris, you can make out the springs of a mattress. The internal walls have gone, and across from the bedroom, the downpipes of the plumbing and waste. This video was shot by the police. In the bathroom, you can make out the basin and the bath. In the kitchen, an exercise bike, a washing machine and a sink. The destructive power of fire written in grey and black ash. This photo shows the landing with the lift doors. And this one, what looks like the cladding fixtures poking up in the voids where the windows used to be. Untouched by the fire, the cladding around the main entrance and the letters which spell Grenfell Tower. Today, the police said 79 people are dead or missing, presumed dead. Of that 79, we have formally identified five people. We are supporting the families and loved ones of each of those 79. And with the agreement of the families and the coroner, once we have confirmed identities of those that have died, we will be releasing their names. At 11 o'clock today, the horribly familiar ritual of the minute silence. They have seen things most of us are spared, but never on this scale. Mid-afternoon saw the release of more names. 23-year-old Mohammed Al-Hajali had already been identified. In addition today, confirmation of 24-year-old Yahadi Sise Say, also known as Khadija Say, Anthony Disson, who was 65, and a 39-year-old man, Abu Faz Ibrahim. A 52-year-old woman has been identified, but her family do not wish her name to be released at the moment. On another hot day, there is still much anger in the air. The rich get different treatment to us poor locals. It's not fair. We're all, we're, we should all be equal at the end of the day. We're all human. They've gone into that dangerous building and they're looking for corpses of people, etc. God rest their souls. I know that, but, you know, we need some information. It is not just a potential crime scene. For the time being, it is also a monument to one of the worst fires in British history. Simon Viger, 5 News.